Esports is a real career. It is a bigger industry than people think and there is a lot of dedication and hard work. It's not the same as playing video games in your room. There is so much to go into. An easy way to get started with establishing your esports career is picking a popular game and streaming it up as an esports streamer. This job typically involves you in live streaming a game you are playing competitively through your channel. From using your social media channel, you are giving viewers out there a chance to see the competitive side of things in the gaming world. If you are not in the mood to start your own streaming channel but still want in on the eSports vibe, join up and establish a team. It can be proved to be an exciting jump start for your career. You will be able to learn the looks and credits on how eSports competitors can be in real life and also establish team coordination and other skills that will help you get to the game. Another way of getting started with your eSports career is getting attention in tournaments and letting a sponsor know about you where you will be emailing, chatting and texting people in the north to let them know who you are. Then you will be able to get your sponsor to hire you as a representative. However, it can be a tough thing to do since you've got other competitors to go up against. But when you've got the skills to show that you get everyone excited, you will know where to turn you down. There's a list of US and best universities which offer courses and scholarships for eSports gamers. It is an excellent way to start your eSports career because you will learn the factors from established organizations and cut down the learning curve. It also will be an excellent opportunity to be part of the eSports world through college courses because many offer scholarships. If you are not interested in joining the tournament, then try to join the non-gaming job. For starters, eSports journalists have the opportunity to get things rolling and reporting the status of the eSports world. The journalists can bring the world of eSports to people everywhere with a personality and charm from blog to videos, just like Jimmy Kimmel in the eSports news. Commentator or shoutcaster is about making exciting commentaries on how things are going with the eSports event while also sharing your personality and letting the users know what's going on while keeping them engaged. For example, Joe Rogan who was a commentator for the UFC and became a wow sensation once he put up his podcast job. If you want to be a coach, you need to know the team members because of their strengths and weaknesses, tolerance and other details that will help you establish a great path and make the strategies. Social media manager is how you handle an eSports team is portrayed in the social media outlet such as making media calls and videos. While event manager is how you will be organizing events or just tracking that must be done to get the event to run as they should be. In summarize, it offers a lot of opportunities and is excellent to flex your managing skills. Production crew is how you handle the things that are broadcasted for the viewers. Actually, eSports can help you to get a considerable income. Just like Chen Jingxiang, who is family known by his in-game name, Nothing to Say, who placed second at the International 10 last year with his China best team, PSG LGD. By getting second place, Nothing to Say and PSG LGD batch a whooping of approximately 21.6 million ringgit. According to the aforementioned website, Malaysia was in 14th place in 2021 for the highest esports earning, which around 15.9 billion ringgit for 355 players.